Hi guys, welcome to another Game Boys Ross video. Hope you guys are all good and hope you are all actually enjoyed my last one. You seem to have liked it, so thank you for everyone who liked my last video. So yeah, um, before I actually get in this guys, I actually really have an urge of just going out on a quick session on my BMX. Just on my street, because why not, you know. So literally I'll be back in like a minute or so. So yeah, I'll see you in a second guys. Oof. that was uh fun yeah i've enjoyed that little quick session quite cold there but yeah it was uh yeah i enjoyed it so i hope you guys enjoyed the little random clips then i thought i'd just chuck them in because uh yeah why not just a little, little bit of fun pissing about on my street on my bmx because uh, i enjoy doing that every now and again so yeah today as you see this is an episode of a car boots episode 83 so yeah 83 is here and uh yeah really pleased that this one's out now guys finally got another one out Hope you guys enjoy it as all the rest of them anyway, guys. So, yeah, this one I did... I think it was just one weekend I did, which is probably just Sunday, I think it was this one. Um, no, I can't remember when it was, but it was a Sunday car boot. It was just one Sunday car boot I went to on this one. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, yeah, I'm going to just throw up the clips, because that's what I like to do. So, yeah, I'm going to throw the clips, and I'll see you at the end of the video, like always. Bye. <laughs> This is pretty cool to see guys, a big box or bag full of PlayStation 2 games. Uh, lots of uh, different titles in here and some really interesting ones that I was after. So pretty awesome to dig through this box or bag and uh, see what was in here.
How much is this lot of? I got um six, so and then I got the yeah. Five, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be picking up own games for a quid each, guys. You can't go wrong for a quid each. So yeah, there's a game there I actually already got, which was Night Before Christmas. That one's actually quite a uh, pricey game. Well, it's not mega pricey, but it's got a high price. And I picked it up just to move on, fun some other bits. But yeah, awesomeness for the tastiness. Now this box is really interesting guys, uh, lots of like really random bits and bobs in there like loads of 90s figures, trolls, all sorts of 90s kind of items I remember seeing as a kid. Um, but yeah I do pick up as you see a troll in my hand, I thought it looked really cool, like a sort of warrior sort of one, it was interesting. And uh, I, you can see another there is a Ghostbuster and some other random bits. But yeah I have a little dig for his box, see what is in there. It was actually quite enjoyable just seeing what random stuff was in his box. Pretty cool. How much are these two toys? Thank you. A pound for those two toys? I'd take that any day. You know, some old, nice old figures and a troll for the collection. Um, yeah, I, I like the little troll. Look, a double sausage McMuffin.
Probably should have picked this up, guys. I wasn't sure if it was any value in it, but it's only 20p. Uh, yeah, I probably should have picked it up. It's actually a PC game of Command and Conquer, but yeah, it actually had the game in it. It was, as you see, it was in the box, but yeah, it wasn't for me. How much is this? How much are these ones? Which ones? Those ones, at the quid each. Okay. Cool to pick up some nice uh, Mario figures and a Pokemon uh, Squirtle figure. Yeah, loads of random bits here. This woman in and the man. Uh, had a, you see, had the Mokuchou car, which I actually left behind because I've already got it, and it wasn't in the best neck anyway. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd grab a few figures that I haven't got. So I was really happy picking up the Cooper Trooper with wings. Um, and yeah, the uh, big Mario. What figure the Mario was it? The, yeah, big Yoshi. Sorry, he was pretty cool. So I'm really happy picking up those three little figures. I come to across this store here, guys, and I missed out as a guy literally looking at stuff on the floor. You can't really see it that well, but he's just picking up loads of N64 stuff. I think he's got the console as well. You might just make out on the floor. There's an N64 controller on the floor, but it, I, he did leave it, and the controller stick was proper, like, knackered, and I think it was actually a fake controller. I'm not sure, but, yeah, I missed out on that, but, yeah, whoever got it, well done. Sorry, move to the other side. That you will be more safe. I can't remember how much they're asking for these uh, games, but they're pretty scratched. I do have a disc cleaner, but I think they were like beyond repair. Um, I think, like, yeah, that's why I kept them double checking, but they did look really wrecked, so I didn't pick these up in the end. Didn't get some video guys, but I've got a bunch of um, old Transformers comics from like the 80s, I think. I'm not sure, but yeah. Didn't get a video, but I've got three quid, so not too bad. It's not going to last, but I thought that's fair. There's like a good bunch there. So, see how that goes. Back in somewhere else. I bought six suitcases with me, with everything in, but yeah. all my suitcases are gone. Yeah. The first thing to bloody go. Oh, they love suitcases, don't they? Yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'd love to How much are your games? Fifty p, mate. Okay. Hello. Or I'm off then. <laughs> yeah. Summer games, summer movies. Yeah. You want a fifty? Into that game, yeah. out of Just those. Oh, I'm going to try your pictures. Uh, a couple of pounds. You take one fifty for then? Go on then, yeah. Can I leave them here and I'll back for them? I'll pay for it. You can. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. Lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Some nice games here, guys. I got myself Jackass on the DS, which I used to love playing that on 
actually on an R4. I used to have most of my games I played on the DS was actually on an R4. And I also got a copy of Lemons as well on the PSP, which is actually a really good game. It's not a bad little uh, port of it. So we're yeah, really pleased having that one. And uh, not to be. Thank you. Cheers. How much are these cables? Yeah. Uh, I think there's three, three mixed in. And each. Okay. Those are Game Boy ones. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, there's a powerful. Thank you. Just picked up a link cable for the Game Boy and Game Boy Pocket in colour. Um, yeah, it's a nice purpley one. So I remember that at the back in the day. So yeah, quid can't go wrong. How much is it? Okay, thank you. A Toxic Crusader uh, toy. I thought I'd grab it as you don't really see that sort of thing around. So yeah, quid. Why not give it a go? How much is your bag? Two pounds. Thank you. A Pikachu bag for two pounds. That was really cool. It's in nice, fair condition. And yeah, I'm happy to have it for two quid. It's a nice bag. I looked it up actually, and it's yeah. When it was new, it was pretty pricey. So yeah, happy to have it for uh, two pounds just for me. Let's go. Uh, to finish off the whole car boot, guys, I picked myself up a Pikachu beanie hat with ears. I'm never going to wear it because like, I look a right idiot probably wearing that. So it's just going to be for display. Yo! Hi guys, so now it's time for the pickups. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the videos, uh, the clips. Uh, hopefully I got a lot, mostly on. Hopefully I got most of it on video, guys, because I was struggling. Um, but yeah, um, 
It wasn't the best, but I got some okay stuff. Um, I could probably I did better near the end of me actually almost wanting to go. I thought I'd be a few more things. So I'll show you the things. I'm not going to do it in order, I just grab whatever. Picked up its last thing was what I got. I picked up its bag. It's got some wear on it, but it's no, there's no holes or anything like that. And it's a nice Pikachu bag. Um, I've been after a new bag because my one is actually um, getting really knackered. But hopefully, you know, this could be alright for car beauty. But my bag I use at the moment is really big. Um, but this one's not as big. But for £2, I thought I'd give it a go because I like Pikachu, it's awesome. And yeah, it's game related for two quid. It's got it's got a bit of wear on it, but there's no holes, so which is a good thing. So yeah, really good. So really happy with that. So I got that for two pounds. That was like one of the last things I picked up, or I think it was the last thing I picked up. Um, picked up this toy for a quid. Don't know much about it, but it's toxic toxic cru crusaders. I've heard about them. Um, it's clean up time. I don't know, it's like a weird skateboard shoe sort of thing. I don't know. I need to do that. I don't know what it's meant to do. I don't know if it's meant to make the wheels go faster, maybe it's broken. I don't know. So, yeah. Pretty cool. It does his, uh, does that. But I got it for a quid. It's from 1991, so, yeah. Older, not older than me, I'm a year older than it. So, yeah, don't really know much about them. I just heard no people collect toys like that, so I grabbed them. Found, finally found some okay games, um, which were 50p each, which is really good. Um, picked up Jackass on the DS, which Jackass game, I don't know if I got it on the DS. I know I got it on a PSP, and I've got it on a PlayStation 2. I don't know if I got the DS version. So really happy picking this up if I haven't got it already. Um, so yeah, it's actually a fun game. It's quite fun and random. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it when it came out. So I, I played on the R4 when it when I had a when the DS or DS Lite was popular still. Um, well, it's still as good now. I mean, as in like when it was still new. I had it on the R4 and I used to play it all the time. So we're really happy to have that. Uh, picked up from the same guy, Lemons. I don't know if I've got this one. Um, I don't think, do I have it? I don't think I have this one in my collection. So, 50p, really happy. I love Lemons. He's a great character. Or oh, great characters and really fun little games. Just like, puzzle sort of games almost, aren't they? Because you got to like work out how to get them um, safe. And uh, yeah, really good. It's complete with manual. So that's going to go straight into my collection. This one is going to be probably moved on, but I, I'm not sure how much it's worth, but I don't think it's worth a lot. It's the Mega Drive Collection, which has got some good titles in it. You know, Sonic, Echo Dolphin, Alex Kidd, um, what else we've got on here? Alter Beast, you know, all the classics really on this. Um, yeah, some great, great classics. Yeah. Even got... Um, Comic Zone, which is a great game. Fucking balls hard, but it's great. And look at that on it. Um, Re was it Rise Star? Rise, Star? Rise, I don't know. But it's got some really good games in it, so yeah, cool, cool. Happy to have that. Well, I've already got it, but spotted this. The lady even know what it was. I don't think she had a Game Boy for it, but. It's this cable, and I'm not sure I have this one, but I, I remember this back in the day. It's a really purpley, really cool one. It's so nice. It cost me a quid, um, but this is one which can actually join to the original Game Boy and the Game Boy Color, or the pockets. I think I think the pockets are the same one as the Game Boy Color. Um, so yeah, which is nice. So really happy to have that. I know I don't really link much Game Boys up, but yeah, I thought that's really cool. No. So I thought that was a quid. Um, got some figures. You know, I like picking up figures. I picked. I left a few. You've seen. I, I leave. I leave a few there. I left the Mario Kart um, remote control car guy. I've already got one, and it had a 
a couple of bits missing of it, like some exhaust bits were snapped off. But later on, I walked around and I found another one without the remote. And uh, with the lady, you probably would have seen it, with the lady who had the cru Crusader car thing. Um, I was looking at that, but I looked underneath it, battery leakage I could see was coming through. So I didn't get that. I didn't ask how much the Mario Kart was. She had a donkey on in the bo box thing still. She wanted five for that, which is not bad, you know, but I didn't really want it. So I picked up these four a quid each. I've got a nice Cooper Trooper, which is which has got wings. I haven't got this one, so that's awesome. He's going to go on my shelf. Um, I've got this already. Pretty sure I've got him. So he's probably going to be moved on. Um, or anyone who's after one. Um, may put it on eBay or something. I don't know. I don't really. I haven't put a lot of stuff on eBay in ages. I don't really do it. I don't know. Um, can I say they get sent a couple occasional things on eBay. Um, I've got a really nice um, Yoshi. I love Yoshi. He's one of my favourite characters from the Mario series. Um, so yeah, I wasn't sure if I had him. Because he's quite a nice big one. So, three quid. I thought that was fair. You know, not a bad price. I picked up this hat as well. This is 50p. 50p. 20p. I, I'm never going to wear it. I just thought it was quite, quite cool. Or I may move it on. Give it a wash. Um, it's legit. So it's got a Pokemon logo and everything in there and all the stuff to give it the rights. I think it's legit, yeah. So Pikachu hat to go with the Pikachu bag. Picked up this, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's a voice recorder or if it's actually an MP3 player. Um, no idea. It can record your voice, but I don't know if it can be used in MP3 player as well. It looks like it needs a charge of I don't know what it is. It was a 50p. It's one of those of Minton of sound. I can't really say it. But yeah, it's this random thing here. Um these were cool. I paid three quid. She wouldn't take any less. I tried to get them a bit cheaper, but I thought I uh, give them a go because these are old old comics of Transformers um, I'm not sure what year these are yeah 1987 Jesus um, so yeah these have got all this on and it's got all like the toys in the back as well like showing all the toys and I know a lot of people collect um, Transformers uh, comics so I thought I'd get these I'm not Transformers comic people, a lot of people collect Transformers. I'm not into Transformers at all. I just grabbed them because I thought there could be some money in these. And uh, yeah, I can move them on and make some money back. I'm not sure what comics are worth. I don't really pick them up normally. But there's nothing but these comics here. There's loads. Some of them are quite tatty. But they're all like legit. So all the same year. Fucking loads of them. So we've got May, May again, which is another May 6th, April, April. I'm going to flip over. May. It's nice to see some of these old like, advertisements on these. It's just a shame that some of them have got a bit creased. But yeah, I tried to save them sort of thing so they wouldn't get damaged like it when I was in my bag so I put them in like a separate bag for them but yeah I'll show you these anyway because you can't even see what I'm showing you so as you see I've got these there's loads of them here I didn't get them on video which was annoying um I did show them afterwards I brought them I thought I had a camera on but I didn't but I paid three quid for all these I offered her um 250 she wouldn't take it but I thought okay I'll give I'll give her the free quick because I don't think I've ever seen this much well this one's this one's even got the original badge still or something on it it's got like a what was it your free badge it's got a badge on it still which is insane so that's wicked some of them have been ripped off. Looks like this one here has a badge on it and it's been ripped off. 
bit. These are wicked. And they're in nice condition really for the age. Some of them, some of them have writing on what says love and I don't know why it says love. But it says love, I don't know why. So you can see some of the back of these as well. I don't want to be here for too long because you guys will be bored of me just flicking through loads of comics. But these are wicked though, wicked, wicked artwork as well. But yeah, I don't know what they're what they're worth or what they could be. So yeah, a load of Transformers former things. So I think I didn't do too bad for those. Um, next, I've got some PS2 games I'm going to show you, which were the first things I picked up. Um, there were some ones I thought were different I haven't had before. So I've got um, Yu-Gi-Oh, which I don't have this one. Um, Looney Tune game, I don't really pick up many of these, so I thought I'd grab a couple or two of them. There's that one, and there is this one, uh, which look quite good. I've got, um, I think I've got this already, which is the Nightmare or Nightmare Before Christmas. I thought I'd get that, these are all credits anyway. And I've heard good things about this game, apparently it's quite a good one. So, I thought I'd grab it for a quid. So I've got those. I've got a PSP or a movie thing for the PSP, which is Friday, which is a funny film. Um, it's about these two guys chilling on a Friday. Um, he hasn't got, he loses his job, and his mate goes, It's a Friday? And you got shit all else to do. So let's get hard a day. So yeah, they basically like smoke weed and Yeah. It's fucking uh yeah, it's good. And they yeah, you gotta watch it, it's a classic. So I thought I'd grab it on a PSP. For the PSP set I'm only, I'm only going for like random like good films I like for the PSP. Um Right, pick this up from the same guy, quid. It's missing his little firing thing, but I thought for a quid. It's a random um, Pac-Man. So, this is random. Um, I got a Ghostbusters toy, which was 50p, and I got this weird troll, which is a quite a cool one, because a lot of trolls I find are a bit, a bit shitty looking. This one's quite a cool one, so this is from two, 1993. Um, so yeah, he's quite a cool little warrior guy. I don't know what he is, but I thought he was quite quite neat. And um, that is my finds, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I um, hope you got to see enough footage of what I picked up. And if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, because it really does help. And Another thing I want to say, big thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and has been liking my videos because it's been going really good and I'm enjoying seeing my channel grow and getting gaining more people following every time I upload a video. It's, it's crazy how YouTube does it. I make a new video and I gain like a, a load more subs. It's hard. Like, if I don't make any videos for a while, I don't get many subs, but when I make one, YouTube must boost my video out there, my new one, and people must find it, so thank you for you for finding my video and coming on to my channel and uh, watching me find stuff. It really, really means a lot and I enjoy doing this guys and I'm really happy that people enjoy watching me and do what I like to do. So I'm going to leave you here and I want to just, yeah, say goodbye and, I don't know, run around crazy. But yeah, thanks a lot guys, it really me means a lot, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. So welcome back guys, hope you guys enjoyed that. As you see, I've got some pretty cool bits and bobs just from one car boot. You know, I've got some nice little bits and games that I uh, end up keeping for the collection and some I end up moving, which were like some um, PlayStation 2 games that we're really pleased with. But yeah, the rest of the stuff, um, you know, it's alright, you know, just a little, nothing, it wasn't, as I said, it wasn't anything like, amazing i don't really find loads of retro stuff anymore really it's it's hard so but the bits i did find then were okay you know especially the cut the magazines i got they were pretty cool um i've still actually got them if anyone's actually interested in those um 
yeah, I've still got them. They're in my wardrobe at the moment. Uh, I just want to, you know, I'm not really into uh, Transformers, but anyone who's actually is after them and would like them for the collection, send me an offer of them all and we can work out something um, because they're really cool. They really are from the 80s. They're like really nice condition for the age anyway. So if anyone wants them, let me know. Uh, I've still got them about. Every single one of them. I think there's about at least like 40 or something now. I can't remember. But there's a good a good amount, a good chunk anyway. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's it really, guys, for this episode. Hope you guys enjoy it as always. I hope you guys enjoyed it as always. And, yeah, give it a smash of a like if you really enjoyed it. That always helps. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. So thanks a lot for coming in. And, I, yeah, see you in a bit. Bye.